weekend before Thanksgiving, Black Friday. And Mr. Fox is all decked out. He's been waiting for this all year. Leading up to Black Friday, we're gonna stop at Target. They got a great sale going on right now. You're looking good, Mr. Fox. All right, so we're gonna stop at Target. Welcome to this walk and talk. I don't wanna put off the intro too long, but I had to showcase Mr. Fox. Target is back as of today, the 19th. Their Black Friday starts today. We're just right in front of that entrance. And that's not the only thing. The counter cates are back at $99. Definitely, if you have not picked any of these up, run to Target, go online, and pick them up today. I'm actually racing in here. They just opened a little after eight o'clock right now. About eight, eight o five, Black Friday deals. As of, I was looking for the date, November 19th, which is today, through like the 25th, 26th. So I'm gonna race in the back and find Hopefully they have some of those counter caves left. And the counter caves aren't the only thing at Target. It's on Black Friday. A ton of deals. A ton of stuff. I gotta show you guys. Look at all these online orders right here. I mean, all these boxes. Back by the TVs. A ton of stuff. It's gonna be a madhouse. Starting today. Leading into next week. A ton of stuff. Look at these toys. The counter cates are back at $99. It's the best deal so far. Marvel superheroes, you gotta check your local targets. Actually, this location, out of stock, could pick it up nearby or order online. But what is showing in stock is the Ms. Pac-Man counter cate again at $99.99. And they do have it on display. So unlike other targets, you know, again, the last video, kind of feel bad we got him to drag it. See, the thing is, is you can see the, the back doors right here. So I'm used to this Target. I didn't realize that the last one I was at was on the other end of the store. But they do have the Ms. Pac-Man. And when I bought my Marvel superheroes, it was back here. But you can see showing up, Black Friday deals. $99.99, save $50 on the Ms. Pac-Man. And you're getting the five games, the Ms. Pac-Man, Super Pac-Man, Galaxian, Canaan balloons and rompers. Now the marquee, I'm pretty sure does not okay. light up on this. You need money. But anytime you can pick up an arcade one up countercade. Are this low? Oh, I put in my... Guys, it's worth it. We'll check out some other countercades in a little bit, but I wanted to showcase this one because I'm telling you what, this will get sold today. And maybe just because there is a tag here for the Marvel superheroes. Just because it's not showing up for in stock right now, maybe throughout the week, closer to Black Friday, there'll be more stock. So definitely keep your eye on Target for both the Ms. Pac-Man and the Marvel Super Heroes Countercade. Also, the Atari 200 Plus, the My Arcade, is $10 off. So you're at that $89.99. The only place cheaper is Costco at $79.99. So if you're not a member... Stop by Target. Also, Kohl's giving 20 Kohl's cash, so spending the hundred dollars had to think there for mathematics. Spending the hundred dollars at Kohl's, you're basically getting it for the same price, but for the less money, you can always go to Target. And Spider-Man 2, great deal at Target. You can pick up that bundle for $4.99. I know Walmart was promoting that about a week ago. Big Target guy, I want to push this great looking kiosk. And there should be some PlayStation 5s here. But if you already have one, stop by. Pick up the game, they got a bunch of loose copies. But just Black Friday deals all around. So if you know, arcade one-ups not your thing. PlayStation 5, Spider-Man 2. Bunch of other stuff on sale it starts today, so watching this Monday morning, Monday afternoon, these sales will still be going on. You just see everything is marked down. Unbelievable. So many awesome deals this time of year. And this is why. See Super Mario. We get excited. 
about Black Friday because who doesn't love deals? So deals on the Xbox, and I'm not seeing get bullseye over here. We're not seeing anything under the display, but looking online, fifty dollars off Series X and the Series S for two forty nine ninety nine. I think that's a great value because I mean you're looking three hundred bucks, you know, fifty dollars off of that. 2023 for an Xbox, not bad. And of course the toys, and check this out, the, the Batwing we've been watching since summer, since the Flash movie with Michael Keaton, the big one, from $39.99 to $19.99, I mean $20. I mean this is, at three of them at this spot, and you're gonna see this at every Target. I mean they are, they're in stock. What a deal, I mean, half off. Let's see what else they have for the action figures. Not yet, nothing over here like the X-Men 97. Still full price, but that Batwing, it's the best deal. I saw that in the aisle, just walking over here. I'm surprised nothing else, I do have a new with a black lantern Superman if you've ever read that story that comic line but what a deal on that I'm really debating it right now what a deal with a Batwing and check it out have you ever seen a Target Monopoly $14.99 hey the McRib is back but it's breakfast time. We got to Target early. It's gonna run into McDonald's. Crib returns along with those sales, those stellar prices for the countercades at Target. Toys are on sale. PlayStation 5, definitely, I wouldn't say to wait. I would, I would definitely pick up anything you've been waiting for at Target. Other places, I, I would suggest, and we'll find that out later today, about putting off, putting off on Friday. But Target, definitely. So I'm thinking a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel meal, and probably a sausage McMuffin with egg. You can see that right here. But the bagels should be here. Always a yes, make it a meal. I'm gonna opt out of the coffee. I'm not a big fan of the McDonald's coffee. I'm actually gonna go with a soda. I haven't had a lot of soda lately. I'm gonna add one more thing, 809, to our order, and that's the sausage McMuffin with egg, 379, 11.88. We'll check out and scarf this down and get right back. Run the coals. Number 38. Actually, you know, not eating out a lot. It, I mean, it adds up. You just look at that bacon, egg, and cheese bagel meal, eight dollars. The sandwich. I mean, I didn't have to get the sandwich, but. I am hungry, 12.47 altogether. I mean, it's just pricey to eat out. It's pricey to pick up arcade one-ups, but guys, I mean, this is the time that we're getting deals. Actually, they have one of those, those soda fountains over here. They do prefer, I think got a smaller soda here. I didn't realize it when I made the selection, but I do prefer these versus that touch screen. This is like old school retro nostalgia, right? It's Dr. Pepper, Mel Yellow, I'm gonna Go for Mellow Yellow. Kind of fitting the airplane, the final countdown at McDonald's. It's the final countdown for the sales, but we do have a week. Got the hash browns, the sausage mixed up in with egg, and one of my favorites, I mean, both my favorites, but that bacon, egg and cheese bagel, Mellow Yellow. But definitely, I mean, I'm gonna tell you, recommend to push stuff off this weekend, or Monday as a recording of this when you see this video, but Target, don't sleep on it. Back and egg and cheese bagel. I don't think it's gonna get any better at Target except maybe Black Friday they'll announce last minute that they'll give another 10, $15 circle points for every 90 or more purchase. We might see something like that, but as far as pricing, I don't think it's gonna get any better than what we're seeing at Target right now on the 19th, the start of their Black Friday sale. If I could eat McDonald's every day, I would. I totally would, guys. I love it. Their breakfast is unbelievable. Their lunch, their dinner is great too. But the breakfast, there's just something about it. 
the best. All right, we're gonna head right over to Kohl's and there's a bunch of great deals going on. Awesome stuff, very tempting and actually some better pricing than we saw, I wanna say two weeks ago when they kind of introduced their first Black Friday like preview prices here. A couple other new items showed up on there, but is it is it right to do it right now or do you wait for Thursday, Friday? If it's on your list, definitely. Like, I mean, that's what I did. I, I, I wrote it out, watching Shaq Jam, watching the NBA Jam Deluxe, and I said make a list at Kohl's this weekend because you're gonna see Actually, just opened a little while ago. Parking lot's still kind of bare. You're gonna see more incentives. Black Friday to come back. It's tempting though, because the prices today, the 19th, are really good. They get you right when you walk in the door. I mean, you see the Black Friday deals, like you're thinking, okay, this is it. This is, this is the final countdown. This is the time to buy. But is it? So on my list, I did pick out a couple of shirts, and it, again, it is a gamble. I said, you know, there's no guarantees. Actually, just kind of skimming through here, there's actually only one large left in the black. So hopefully it's here, Black Friday, because for $50, I'm gonna come back and get it. Instead of getting $10 Kohl's cash now, come back, you can get 15. You're seeing that right now, so everyone $10 Kohl's cash for every 50 spent, but Thursday and Friday, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, you're gonna get 15. Right here, Thursday and Friday, only shop super deals, earn 15 Kohl's cash for every 50 versus the 10 for every 50. And this is super tempting. I mean, guys, you're getting 149 across the board, so forget about the 199 the 179 149.99 on your countercades at Kohl's. And for 70, hopefully we see a better price. I'm trying to see 30% off. Looks like 45 for the zip up. Now you are taking a chance. I'm taking a chance on my list because maybe the sale doesn't count on Black Friday. Waiting for the extra Kohl's cash, but you know, these aren't cheap and for a nice, nice zip up, I'm gonna gamble and hopefully pick this up along with that Under Armour waffle shirt and maybe some other cool stuff because the more you spend, the more Kohl's cash you're gonna get. So you might as well just wait a couple more days. Get extra Kohl's cash. But we are seeing the NBA Jam back at 129.99. Shaq Jam 549. And those counter cades are showing up $150. Very tempting is that Yoga Flame for $349.99. Also the Marvel vs. Capcom head-to-head -head cocktail cabinet back at $300. This one's tempting. Same with the Mortal Kombat 2 head-to-head -head table, also at $300. And that pawn. It's a good price because you're considering the fact that you're getting that Kohl's cash, and if you wait, you're basically getting that for $199. And that, that's the sweet spot, isn't it? $199 for an arcade one up. Yeah, it's Kohl's cash, but you're gonna get more. Guys, if we just wait a couple more days, as great of a price you're seeing Yoga Flame for $349.99, they're showing you $70 Kohl's cash. I mean, $105. Get $105 Kohl's cash if you wait until Thursday, Friday. And just like we saw at Target, if you don't have a Costco membership, the Atari 200 Plus, My Arcade, wait until Black Friday to pick this up, and you're basically getting it for the same price as Costco. We've been to Target, we've been to Kohl's, Good time to buy a Target, hold off at Kohl's. Just wait a couple more days to get extra Kohl's cash because money is money. And you saw it at Kohl's, there's a ton of great stuff. What about Best Buy? Do you buy now or do you wait? We'll find out next. Actually 10.53 a.m. Sunday morning. You know, not a lot of traffic out. We were at Target, we were at Target early, it was open. I mean, a lot of people aren't gonna get there right at 8, 8.03 in the morning. But Kohl's open for almost an hour. I think they open at 10. Not a lot of people. I think people know they saw the flyers of holding off, getting that extra Kohl's cash. People are getting wise. Get more for your money this year, this Black Friday. I'm not sure I've ever seen this Metro on the top floor of the parking structure. Well, I guess they are doing construction over here. 
Wonder if there's something ripped up. I don't remember the last time we were at this Best Buy. This is one of my favorites. We're gonna go into Best Buy. Is it good to buy now or hold off till Black Friday? I do have a broken window. I remember bars on these windows before. This is the Best Buy where we get that nice bird's eye view overlooking the store. Go over a couple announcements too, not just Arcade went up but there's been a lot of news lately. It's a great bird's eye look of Best Buy. You can see all the TVs in that corner. I did want to talk about Unico's announcement. And from the Tech Buzz Gaming, he did post something very interesting about this. As cool as this is, you know, for a second, I'm like, well, maybe Unico still has the SNK license. Apparently the Nova Blast Candy Cab, you're gonna basically have to supply your own games on here. So it's not like a plug and play. It's not like buying, you know, an arcade one up and iArcade that we can just we can add games easily. I mean, you're going to have to bring your own game until this until we get more information. Not sure how I feel about this. It is cool. I think there's going to be a lot of excitement about this. I mean, it's a huge screen. It's just that you're going to you're basically buying a coffin with a monitor and head over to At Games for their Black Friday Cyber Monday deals. As a recording of this, we have just over 11 days for this great pricing. Always a good time to pick up those pinball packs. Right now you're getting $5 off, $20 a pinball pack. Not a bad deal. If you have the extra money, great time to purchase. Also get on low prices on pre-ordering the Legends Ultimate HD. Just reserve your $200. You're gonna see some sales in the ALP the micro and the micro pinball you know 2.99 is a great price just just note you're gonna pay that fifty dollars for shipping reserve your alp 4k for two hundred dollars we knew about the adams family now peanuts and dinosaur dynasty i'm liking all of them and, and it's promising because i i'm kind of holding out for star trek i'm gonna wait to the last possible minute but you know as, as much as i like peanuts uh, you know, not a big dinosaur themed. Maybe it was Jurassic Park. Still holding out for Adam's family. Unless last minute they do give us a Star Trek, but definitely stop over at At Games. Check out the new pinballs. Check out the deals they have. You know, you got a you got a good week, week and a half to make those decisions. But Adam's family still calling it for me. I'm still going with Adam's family. Now we did get an email from Arcade went up about a week ago for their early Black Friday deals. They're live now and just going through these weren't the greatest prices, but something I did miss near the bottom. Deluxe deals coming soon, 11.17, which was Friday and we did see that Best Buy started it, 3.99 Deluxe for the Pac-Man Class 81 and MK2 along with some other Deluxe cabinets. Some great prices. Maybe we see something, you know, a couple of weeks from now, but as far as picking up a deluxe now, if you're seeing a sale on these, I don't think it's gonna get any, you know, it's not gonna get any better than $3.99. And our cave went up, they give us an updated email on Friday showing you, hey, you know, we warned you eleven seventeen deals were coming and, and they weren't kidding. $3.99, class 81, Pac-Man. We knew about the Amazon, at least, you know, this is still going on. Save fifty dollars on Street Fighter Two on Galaga, NFL Blitz four forty nine. Not the best deal on that, but MK two, you know four hundred dollars. Factor taxes in. You're looking at about four twenty four. Fast and Furious is also on sale about seventy five off, coming in at five twenty twenty four ninety nine. Do you hold up on something like Fast and Furious, or do you pick it up? And I think if they did have another sale on Fast and Furious. You're probably looking at $4.99. So basically to save an extra $24, wait another month or two. Or if you really want Fast and Furious, I would pick it up right now for $5.24. They have shifted this whole store around for TVs. I mean, every Best Buy we go to, I think we saw this the last episode, $297.99 for a 55 inch Samsung. Every time we come here, they've shuffled stuff around. 
I don't know, I mean, are you gonna see a better deal on a 55 inch TV than 297 a couple of days from now? I think Best Buy has completely shown their hand. And I don't think buying now is a bad idea. I mean, you're seeing right here, I mean, look at this. 399, class 81. Thought this was a combo, you know, get them all here for 1343. I guess this is by mistake. Casino Cade, not on sale yet. We did see a 499 at Apt Electronics. NFL Blitz, 449. Seen that 399 at Walmart. 299 at Ollie's if those are still stocked. And then the MK2, also sitting at 399. Not seeing a Pac Man over here per se. There is another. We have the Pac Mania over there, but it's got to get past this maze of TVs. They didn't have a physical Pac Man Deluxe here but they are showing you the 399 in store or online also. And you're seeing Class 81, Mortal Kombat 2. Now Big Buck Hunter and Casino K. We just talked about Casino K. Still sitting at 599. You know, we saw Street Fighter 2, we saw Galaga. Now Pac-Man, Class 81, Mortal Kombat 2. They gotta fix this price for NFL Blitz. Just saw 449. You get that feeling. We, 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 we kind of touched this the other day. Of a $3.99 across the board. Deluxe cabinets in the future. I think it's possible. We just talked Fast and Furious, you know, at $5.24. I think you're going to see a $4.99. Maybe if it's got a light gun, a steering wheel. If it's a four player like the NBA GM Deluxe. Maybe that doesn't get as low. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of throwing, throwing numbers out there. But maybe in the future, if we can hold off long enough, we can see all deluxe for $3.99. And when we were here the last time, we saw the Pac Mania cabinet. Unfortunately, there's definitely something wrong with this. It's currently on. You can see the marquees lit up and the screen is blue. This is the one that's always missing that dust protector. It's, it's too bad. Expect them to put, but I mean, you never know because you know, putting a cabinet here, this could happen. I mean, this, this is what stores are afraid of. But you would think that it would replace it with a deluxe by now. And not seeing anything on toys, and you know, we're gonna come back here Black Friday, give an update at the end of the video, like what we're gonna see, where we're gonna go. And maybe there's an incentive coming back. So it's the $20, you can see in this Batman Super 7, they dropped this, save it dollar one. I mean, you want to train that bad for $53.99? You think that they dropped some of these down? Maybe we'll see something Black Friday. But as far as the arcades, I mean, $3.99, guys, it doesn't get really any better than that, does it, for a deluxe? I always miss these Ray-Bans. Every time we come here, I always miss it. Smart Ray-Ban glasses. If you're at Best Buy, definitely something to check out. This kind of gives you that Men in Black vibe. But that's cool. I mean, you know, the future, guys. I mean, who would have thought? Is that a camera? I did hear something when I did put them on. Unbelievable, though. Smart glasses. Something to check out at Best Buy. Play around with them. Cutting edge meta technology come together in range of frames made for you to express yourself and how you feel about the world. So it's kind of like office space. You know, how many flares do you want to have? Don't you want to express yourself? You do it with Ray-Ban. The smart glasses. Only at Best Buy. And I was mistaken. Look at all these, just like when we were at Target earlier, just like all these other boxes, you can see they do have a Pac-Man Deluxe here also, and another two Mortal Kombat 2 Deluxe. There's a bunch of stuff here, like you would think at, two, at $3.99, $2.99 would be even better. $3.99, this would be flying off. I mean, people finding out about this price, got a pallet jack here. Definitely a steal. If you haven't picked up any Deluxe, now I don't know what Best Buy will come back to, if we'll come back to this Best Buy. The Home Best Buy, or our third, there are, there's like three we kind of rotate from. But you just kind of wonder if there's going to be any more incentive on some of these TVs. I'm a big Roku guy. 
75 inch. It's the price on a 75 inch Roku TV now, $799.99, 800 bucks. You know, when you see a 55 inch for 297, you jump right to $800 for basically 20 inches more. It seems a lot, but that wasn't a Roku. This is 4K, 75 inches. It's just amazing the size of TVs, and this isn't even as big as some of the some of the people I've been talking to. 98 inches, 80 inch TVs. I mean, where do you put it? So definitely, if you're interested in a deluxe that's on sale, even if it's Fast and Furious, you know, for the 524, I would pick it up. I would I would stop, stop by Best Buy, go online, and order them. We can still find a better price on Blitz. I mean, I keep asking myself, everyone who pretty much wants Blitz probably has Blitz by now. And saying that out loud, this is something that's really gonna drop. Like even $399, like if you're not completely in love or you want a different cabinet, you know, you wanna get like the Mortal Kombat 2 instead, I gotta believe that we're gonna see Blitz for way under $300 like, eventually. I mean, it's got a riser. And, that, and that's the whole thing. Is that's what I expected for Black Friday, was any cabinets with risers, we'd see price breaks. And I think there's gonna be other sales after the fact that we'll see some of that stuff. You know, cabs like X-Men, currently $4.99, and Golden Axe, Five forty nine. They did have a sale, like a four ninety nine, a golden axe for like one day. Those two cabinets, unfortunately, are just like they're sitting tight on those. They're not just gonna give them away. I think three forty nine, two ninety nine just seems low. Three forty nine for either one of them. I think it's a great price. But I, I mean, don't you just get that feeling that NFL Blitz is really gonna drop? I mean, anyone, again, who wants Blitz probably has it by now and plus with the whole fact that at games like if you are gonna buy the ALP or even you know I don't really talk about the ALU just because we haven't seen any you know real images we're only talking pinball I mean look at these TVs 86 inches guys I'm trying to actually get to the doors here you see them right here I just again there's just like TVs everywhere that might alter some of your decision-making too like knowing you're gonna pay 1300 for that pinball, even something tempting like a deluxe for two, three ninety nine. Keep saying two ninety nine. Two ninety nine would just be <laughs> maybe in time, guys. You jump on some of these deals, but you know, there's always that time where just because there's a sale doesn't exactly work for everybody. It's happened to me, and if you miss out on any of this, they will come back. That's the that's the beauty of it. This isn't gonna be the last week of great prices. We're gonna see this for the next two, three months. So don't force a purchase if you're not ready. No matter how good it may be, the only thing is those countercades, I don't see them sticking around that much. Just everyone's offering great deals on the PlayStation 5s and the Xbox, the Series S, the Series X, solid prices. I do like that for 250 though. Of course, Spider-Man always catches your eye. And there was a ton of stuff at this Best Buy. I'm glad we, we opted to come to this one. I'm not sure if we're gonna return to this location on Black Friday, but we will hit a Best Buy or two. It just depends, but so much stuff. TVs, arcade one-ups, PlayStation 5s, awesome stuff. Super 7 figures, man. It's just, I'm, I'm working on a Christmas list right now just looking at some of this. Actually gonna return to another Target. They did have a Marvel Superheroes countercade in stock earlier today. That sold out in the Ms. Pac-Man we saw earlier this morning is now sold out, but they do have another Ms. Pac-Man at this other location. If we can get there in time, maybe we'll still be there. These are going quick. This is the last pitch I can make on the Marvel Super Heroes Countercade and the Ms. Pac-Man, you know, at $100, I don't know how much longer they're gonna be around. Right now, there's still one showing up here, a Ms. Pac-Man, but 20, 25 minutes ago, the Marvel Super Heroes, gone, erased from existence. 
and we are in luck. They still have the Ms. Pac-Man at this location. And right above from that Ms. Pac-Man is a mega build Xbox 360, three quarter scale, we're all familiar with those. Let's actually play games. Very interesting. Actually, I don't think I've seen this before, but pretty cool to see that at Target. But this may be the last time, guys, on video for posterity that we'll see the Ms. Pac-Man countercade showing up at Target. You can see the Marvel superheroes was here a little while ago, half an hour or so. But for $99.99, this is all that remains. Now we may see some showing up, like we said earlier in the video, throughout the week. But you know they show up for on, they show up in stock, and then they're gone. Like they go that quick. Not going quick are these Atari 200. I was gonna go to Costco just to show the $79.99, but we will get there in a couple of days. Just didn't think there'd be any any real reason sales to go today. We just mentioned that Black Friday we will go to Costco. That this would be more more of a good closing. The Ms. Pac-Man. Five games. This target does have it right for the $249.99. Get that Xbox Series S, $449, the Series X. Buy one more, get a free $75 gift card. But guys, two, I think the two best deals right now, dare I say, the Xbox Series S, $249.99 at Target, along with that Ms. Pac-Man countercade. And the Marvel Superheroes, just depending on what region you're in, if it's still available, definite buys. Score big at Target, guys, last shot. Super Mario sand. Don't let this pass you by. Countercade's 100 bucks. Don't miss out on any of these Target deals, guys. Black Friday deals. Now through Saturday. Day after Black Friday. It's too bad they didn't have the Marvel superheroes. Want to make a strong case for these countercades. Excellent prices at Target. I mean, you can't sleep on that. The Xbox Series S, $249.99. Target winning early. Coles is winning too. They just I'm just urging you just hold off a couple more days. I think Best Buy, you're making a good call if you decide to buy early. Same with Target. But hold off till Black Friday for places like Kohl's, maybe Walmart, Costco. We see something better. I didn't stop at Costco just for that reason. I don't think they'd have anything this early. But we'll go Black Friday. We'll hit up a couple of places and we'll see if there's any incentive. Going somewhere versus shopping online. We'll be up bright and early. We'll get plenty of coffee. Really looking forward to Black Friday, guys. I want to thank everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next time.